Imagine a society without stress. What do you see? Do you see a place that already exists or do you imagine a whole new utopia? Stress has been one of the most important factors in the survival of the human species. Um, but based on the subject, environment and severity of the situation, stress can have various negative effects ranging from a cold sweat to uh, a cardiac arrest. Um, Stress can also be the key in a fight or flight situation where the body needs extra adrenaline to help cope with the situation at hand. And especially in, in high-paced modern societies such as the one we live in, um, people in my age and older have a higher likelihood of suffering these negative consequences based on stress. Um, but I don't think everybody quite understands how stress works. Stress is the body's way of responding to threats, whether they are real or not. Uh, set, let's set an example, For ex uh, you have an exam tomorrow that you haven't studied for. This sets off a chemical chain reaction in the body which uh, increases your heart rate, tightens your muscles, uh, increases the blood pressure, uh, gives you more adrenaline. Um, to summarize, the body's defenses kick into high gear in a rapid uh, automatic process um, to defend itself. Uh, this is also known as the stress response. <clears throat> stress can also help you to rise, help you rise to meet new challenges. It's what keeps you keeps you on your toes during a TED talk, or uh, um, helps you concentrate when you're attempting the game-winning penalty shot, um, or drives you to study for a present presentation. Although you'd much much rather be watching Netflix right now. What I mean by all this, it's that it helps keep you focused, energetic, and alert. Uh, and it can also say it helps save, save your life. For example, in a, in a it's a situation where you're attacked, the body helps you with this, these things uh, to defend yourself, or it makes you slam the brakes to avoid a car accident just in time. But beyond a certain point, stress can also be very, very bad and cause um, major damage to your health, mood, and uh, productivity, relationships, let's just say quality of life. Stress can le also lead to, uh, to uh, physically stress can lead to headaches, troubled stomach, high blood pressure, sleeping problems and chest pains and people who suffer from stress often try to find means to relieve them of this stress, um, often by consuming alcohol, tobacco or narcotics. Um, but what this actually does is that these substances keep the body in a, a stressed state instead of decreasing the stress levels uh, and can cause further problems such as addiction or uh, yeah and that an addiction can in itself uh, lead to the other things such as depression and other consequences such as overdose but uh, Everybody suffers from stress in some kind of way and everybody says they're stressed, but it's nothing to be afraid of because um, both medical doctor Jennifer Robinson and OSHA, which is the the occupational uh, Health the occupational safety and health administration um, have stated that 43% of all adults in modern societies uh, will suffer adverse health effects uh, from stress or based on stress and that um, stress actually cost the American economy or the American industry um, over 300 billion dollars annually and uh, this shows us that stress is a major problem that needs to be dealt with dealt with in some kind of way um, so uh, if you're not suffering from stress right now like I am uh, you might be a teacher that has to do all their presentations or assignments on um, video cam. Uh, let's just say you're probably going to experience it in the future. So I'm going to give you a few tips right now to help you avoid them. So the first tip is to avoid alcohol, caffeine and nicotine as these are stimulants and will keep your body in a stress state. Um, so try to uh, try to uh, switch the alcohol out for water or natural fruit juices as staying hydrated will also help you cope with stress. Number two, indulge in physical activities. Um, physical ex exercise can be used as a surrogate to metabolize the, uh, the stress hormones uh, in your body and keep your uh, mind and body in a more relaxed, calm st uh, state. Number three, 
which, which goes hand in hand with exercise. You should get more sleep. When you exercise, you get tired. Um, put up a bedtime routine. Uh, this helps you. Um, read a book because books are boring. You'll go to sleep much, much faster. Um, well, to summarize this entire TED talk, um, stress has been very good, but it can be very, very bad. Uh, it can help you save your life in a car accident, but it can also cause depression uh, or further problems such as addiction. And we have no room for unnecessary problems in a modern society like this. Um, so follow these last three tips and uh, hopefully you'll improve your well-being. Thank you very, very much.